Well, John, this could be your lucky day. There's been a potential sighting. So John spins on it. A bright blue motor should stick out like a sore thumb. Sore thumb, three o'clock. With another unit falling in behind, teamwork plus communication equals a suspect sandwich. <laughs> takes care of the passenger, a district unit naps the driver. Pretty soon the place is crawling with cops, and there's only one question on everyone's lips. 6-3, any uh, driver that turn uh, fit? What is this vehicle's true identity? That's the seat. The answer is a surprise to no one. May I've had some information on my, on my radio that that vehicle is a stolen vehicle from the Sheffield area. So this time, you're under arrest on suspicion of theft of that vehicle. You didn't have to say anything, but the main line of defence will mention when questioned some for which later on in court. Is it a uh, two-in-one? No, it's gold like keys. Keyless theft, yeah. Keyless theft is when a criminal uses an electronic device to remotely capture the signal of a victim's car key. This stolen car has now been retrieved and intact. I think it's fantastic for us. For it's good good for the for the owner of the car as well. It's only recently stolen. So we've not had a issue with it. We've not had any contact with some damage. It's just, you know, uh, I would imagine in three or four days it's been stolen. The insurance hasn't been settled yet. So at least we will get the car back in good condition without any damage. Um, and it's too locked up, which is always nice. What's more, there's an ugly but all too familiar discovery in one of the lads' bags. This is obviously vehicle crime that they're linked to, but they don't, they don't just restrict themselves to one element of crime. Um, unfortunately, in society, knife crime is quite prevalent at the moment, um, they're very much on the rise. At least, um, he's only about 18, to be fair, he's, he's out and about to a stolen car with a knife. With two off to the nick and a stolen motor on its way back to its rightful owner, it's a cracking result for the interceptors and their merry band of colleagues from across the books. Yeah, I think it works out really well, just the benefit of adding the technology on our side with the NPR network and also teamwork with different teams coming together and the fact that there's been no carnage, so brilliant. The pair could not be linked to the theft of the car, so no action was taken. However, the driver had his day in court for driving whilst disqualified and without insurance. He received a 12-week suspended sentence and eight points on his licence. No further action was taken in relation to the knife. Still to come. Another diversity way. It might get a high intensity workout. Yeah, he's got left left towards the Elfleston Brothers. And when did you have to have a drink? Nathan gets a whiff of something toxic. He goes to 107. Everything. By a lot.